There are many bonus rewards in the Ubisoft store for Assassin's Creed Origins. This includes bonus weapons, outfits, legacy outfits, just loads of cool stuff that you can get from the Ubisoft store. Today we're going to be going through how you can get these bonus rewards from the Ubisoft club and giving my opinions about what they look like and what I think of them and I'll also be showcasing them in this video so you guys can see them too. So without further ado guys, let's get straight into today's video. If you go to the pause menu and select Ubisoft Club, you'll be met with this screen. All you need to do is click on rewards and then you'll find all of the legacy outfits and also all of the bonus weapons you can get through the Ubisoft Club. Currently the only legacy outfits there are that you can get from the Ubisoft Club are Altair's outfit and Ezio's outfit, although I'm certain that the other outfits are in the game. There's no way that the Black Flag team would cut out Edward's legacy outfit considering they made Assassin's Creed 4, so I'm sure the other ones are in the game somewhere. Anyway, the very first thing I wanted to show off from this list was the Altair Legacy outfit. It looks really, really nice. I definitely expected this one to be in the game considering Altair is such a pivotal character in Assassin's Creed and it looks great. It's definitely the best I've seen considering the setting as well. It's all sandy, it's all hot. It definitely looks like the area fits Altair's outfit but it does look really, really good. Very detailed. It's awesome to see the Altair outfit back again. Obviously it's been in basically every Assassin's Creed game at this point and seeing it back for Origin really does warm my heart considering it's been 10 years since Assassin's Creed 1. Anyway, the Altair outfit has never looked better. It looks as detailed as it can possibly be in Assassin's Creed Origins and I'm really liking this outfit. I could do some separate gameplay with it if you guys want me to. However, I thought this showcase was enough. You can definitely see the detail of the outfit, how it looks when you're moving around, when you're in combat and they've done a really good job with it. Next up, we have the Ezio Legacy outfit. Classic Ezio. It's great to see Ezio's Brotherhood robes back in Assassin's Creed Origins, and they also look very detailed, much like the Altair robe. One problem with the Ezio robes in previous games was that his arm would go through the cape. The cape was kind of just animated, but it didn't interact with the character's body because it was a legacy outfit. It was obviously added in as something extra. But in Assassin's Creed Origins, this isn't the case. Bayek's arm doesn't go through the cape like in other Assassin's Creed games, which is really nice to see. Again, it's great to see the Ezio outfit back in Assassin's Creed Origins. It's, it, I really love the Ubisoft add these into the game as a callback to the other ones. You can't forget about Ezio. Ezio practically made the Assassin's Creed franchise. You gotta have his legacy outfit in the game and obviously the main two are always Altair and Ezio. Those are in all of the games. Apart from fucking Syndicate, like why was why was the Altair legacy outfit not in Syndicate? That was so weird but it, it's back in this game anyway and the Ezio outfit is here also and they both look really great, incredibly detailed and by exam doesn't go through Ezio's cape which which really makes me happy because in Assassin's Creed 3 with that legacy outfit it was the same legacy outfit but uh, Connor's arm went through Ezio's cape which was the most annoying thing ever. This also happens sometimes in Unity but in Unity it was just it was a given that game was a glitch fest so it was bound to have some glitchy animations. Anyway the Ezio legacy outfit looks great if I find any more legacy outfits in the game I'll be sure to let you guys know and make a video about it but these are the two that I found already. Obviously Twitch Prime users also have the legacy outfit of Aguilar so you guys can use that. I don't have it and I don't really care about it that much but if you guys want that then obviously get a Twitch Prime membership and you can redeem that outfit. Now I'm going to show you guys the weapons that you can get from the Ubisoft club. So the first one is the trial which is a rare spear. I personally don't like the spears that much in Assassin's Creed Origins although I'm sure this would come in handy to anyone that does enjoy using the spears. They have a long reach obviously, quite a large swiping distance as well if you want to do that and obviously it's a rare weapon so it's going to do more damage than your blue weapons that you have in the game currently. Currently. Next up we have the Kush shield. The abilities on this shield are melee resistance and range resistance so it's pretty useful against those archers and it's all around a relatively sturdy shield. Next up we have the Crown Jewel, which is a warrior bow in Assassin's Creed Origins. This is a type of bow that can fire multiple arrows at once in a kind of shotgun blast, which looks really cool and it's pretty powerful. However, I prefer using just a standard hunting bow or one of the light bows because it gives me more precision and I much prefer that over this. Although warrior bows are very powerful. Next up we have the Bird of Prey shield, which is a small shield in the game with the image of a bird on the front of it, which does look pretty nice actually. It's a very small shield 
shield like the shield you get at the beginning of the game, the Medjai shield, but it has kind of a simpler design on it. I do like the look of it, however I have better shields and I prefer larger shields that can take more punishment. Next we have the Shamshir, which is a rare regular sword with critical hit rate and adrenaline regeneration. It's an all around pretty sturdy sword and I do like this archetype of weapon. It's very straightforward, very simple and it's effective against most enemies. Next up is the Sycamore, which is a rare heavy blunt weapon with adrenaline on kill and critical hit rate. So the more kills you get with this weapon, the more adrenaline you're going to get and you'll be doing loads of critical hits with this weapon too. It's definitely a heavy hitter and it does a lot of damage. Weapons like this are very good against multiple enemies. There was a time where there was a huge crowd of enemies and I had one of these weapons of this archetype and it, it took them all out with ease. The Sycamore is definitely a pretty decent weapon. Something that you guys should know is these weapons are for early game. That's why they're free with the Ubisoft Club. They may be better than the weapons you get within the first few hours of the game, although I wouldn't recommend keeping them for that long because they're not that great. As you get higher in the levels, you'll get much better gear, much better weapons, and these will become completely obsolete. Don't expect these weapons to carry you completely through the game. You'll most likely find weapons in the open world that do even more damage than these as you level up in the game. Just a bit of friendly advice to help you guys out a bit. Anyway, that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I just want to showcase everything that's on the Ubisoft Club. There's a few more rewards, although they're locked behind something. I think you have to complete Act 1, which I haven't done yet. Anyway, if you want to go and see them, you can check on the Ubisoft Club and they'll be there for you to download in Assassin's Creed Origins, provided you have the amount of Ubisoft credits, I think it is. It's not a microtransaction or anything, it's completely free, but if you get achievements in Ubisoft games, you get more Ubisoft points, whatever the fuck it is, onto your Ubisoft Club account. So if you have enough of those, then you can download these things. If not, then fucking get playing Origins and then you'll be able to get them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was the first video in my Assassin's Creed Origins tips and tricks series, I guess, because it shows you how to get these outfits and it gives my opinion on them. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to go ahead and like and subscribe for more gaming news and content in the future. Also, remember to check out part one of Assassin's Creed Origins. I'll leave a link to it in the end screen of this video. I'm going to be uploading so much more Assassin's Creed Origins content, so stay sub to the channel and stay tuned for more content in the future. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.